Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about fuel cell. Uh, basically, two fuel cell: PAFC and PEMFC. As the name suggests, fuel cell are nothing but cells. So obviously, when it is a cell, it has to have a anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. And when fuel word also is written along with it, that means there is a role of fuel also. So fuel cell basically it's an electrochemical device that produces electricity by separating the fuel via catalyst. So you are going to convert that chemical energy in electrical energy, but then you are going to produce electricity with the use of a fuel, and that is why you call it as a fuel cell. And obviously uh, we are going to use uh, like fuel, let's say hydrogen gas as a fuel. So uh, hydrogen you need to dissociate, and for that you need a catalyst. So without catalyst it is not going to work. So basically, fuel cell uh, was discovered in like 1860s or something, and it took almost one century, like around mid 1960s, uh, when NASA started it uh, using in its satellite and space capsules. So let us start uh, with what do we understand by fuel cell? Basic component, if you see here, uh, there will be two electrodes. Obviously, one is anode and one is cathode. Uh, let us go ahead uh, with the diagram. I can explain it here. So, if you can see here, this one is the anodic portion, and this one is the cathodic portion. Now, here in between, you have electrolyte. So, uh, at anode, you have to supply your hydrogen gas, uh, which you call it as a fuel here. So, when you supply your hydrogen gas uh, on anode, catalyst is coated. So, what does that catalyst do? It dissociates this hydrogen gas into H plus and electron. So, when hydrogen gas is dissociated into H plus, H plus transfers from anode to electrolyte site. And the role of electrolyte is nothing but to provide or felicitate the transfer of H plus to cathode. So if I want H plus to move from anode to cathode, electrolyte is the chemical which is going to serve the purpose. And meanwhile, when the electron is generated in this reaction, it will complete the circuit, uh, circuit while flowing from anode to cathode. And that is how it's going to generate the electricity here. So now if you see at uh, cathode, what happens at cathode? At cathode, you have to supply air. That means specifically oxygen gas. Now what happens is oxygen gas reacts with that H plus and in presence of that electron, it forms water. So waste water and heat you can take out. So at the end, this reaction is exothermic. There is a release of uh, heat. So what we can take out from the fuel cell is uh, water as the main byproduct, while heat also comes out of it. So you can utilize this heat also we can utilize this electricity also and uh, moreover if you see there is no other uh, byproduct or the waste formed in the cell so overall it's a, ki a kind of very nice concept wherein you have to supply hydrogen gas hydrogen dissociates into h plus plus electron with the help of catalyst h plus is moved towards from anode to cathode uh, using uh, an electrolyte and at cathode you have to supply your oxygen gas which reacts with it and forms a water let us see uh, the mechanism uh, with the help of this uh, video. So if you can see here. So here a fuel cell uh, you can see where uh, electrodes are there. There is a node on which catalyst is coated. This is electrolyte and this is cathode. Now you can see on anode the catalyst is separating this H plus into electron. And the electron is completing the electric circuit while the protons flow through the electrolyte to the cathode and obviously at the cathode uh, the oxygen flows into the fuel cell right and the cathode uh, combines that proton and electron and oxygen so here air basically water vapor and heat are the only exhaust so obviously it's a comparatively clean and green source of energy Again, you can see it in a revision mode that hydrogen is coming from left side, oxygen from right side and at the end you are getting water out of it or electricity out of it. So I think uh, with that you are able to understand how does a fuel cell work. Now coming to the types of fuel cell, there are not many types of fuel cell but here if you uh, will see they are categorized on the basis of two factors. Obviously first one is your electrolyte portion because electrolyte is especially very important factor because it's going to allow the H plus to pass from NO to cathode. So whole efficiency is uh, based on which kind of electrolyte or what electrolyte you are using and the second uh, could be startup time. So how much 
much time uh, or the startup temperature is required like it can vary uh, like in pem it could be one uh, second to one minute to sofc to 10 minutes so uh, this way startup time also varies now here whatever is mentioned are nothing but the type of electrolyte so if you are using phosphoric acid as electrolyte the cell becomes pafc that is phosphoric acid fuel cell and so as with proton exchange membrane or polymer electrolyte membrane similarly direct methanol alkaline etc etc so today uh, we'll focus on two only which is nothing but pafc and pmfc in PAMFC, uh, PAFC actually was first fuel which was commercialized and UTC Power was the company which did that. It operates at comparatively higher temperature which is like 150 to 250. The efficiency also was less uh, in a starting but overall if you focus on cogeneration the efficiency increases. Uh, let us go ahead with uh, the diagram. If you see the diagram remains same because the working remains same. Uh, what happens is if it is PAFC then the electrolyte uh, obviously would be phosphoric acid so you can simply uh, write that the electrolyte is phosphoric acid and then you have anode and cathode and rest of the functions remain same uh, remain same means you have to supply your hydrogen gas from here oxygen gas from here and overall cell setups remain same so now if you go by the reaction you can write it in this manner like in a node uh, the hydrogen dissociates to give you H plus an electron on cathode uh, these two merge with oxygen and they form water so overall if you see the reaction this is a quite clean uh, reaction oxygen and hydrogen gas combines to form water. Now what are the advantages of PAFC? As I said, when you go for cogeneration, you are taking electricity and heat both and you are utilizing them further, then it is quite efficient. Uh, however, it can use impure hydrogen as a fuel. That means if some kind of impurity is present, it can tolerate that much. And PAFC can tolerate um, CO concentration of about 1.5%. So that is also good. While if you go to disadvantage, uh, obviously less efficient, it is less efficient. Provided uh, it is quite large, bulky and heavyweight and that is why it is expensive since it was the first one and obviously it uses expensive catalyst platinum which is common to all. So if you go by the application you will see that the applications are in large vehicle or a large building just because the size is quite large it is very bulky and it is having very weight that is why the applications are also like this you cannot use it in a small uh, power vehicles. Going to PEMFC, obviously PEM stands here for proton exchange membrane or polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell. So which polymer we normally use? We normally use naphlon which is polypurchlorosulfonic acid and uh, if you change this polymer as an electrolyte, what uh, change does it make? It does not make any change to the overall setup. The diagram remains same. Overall setup almost is same. In fact, overall reaction also is same. But due to that electrolyte, what happens is oxygen, uh, this reaction efficiency increases because when H plus is being generated, they are able to transfer to the cathode via electrolyte. So if electrolyte is serving that purpose, if it is more efficient, it will uh, divert all of the H plus to the cathode. And that is how you are going to calculate the efficiency. So PMFC comparatively operates at 90 degree, which is much lower than the other one. That is why I said that the startup time is very less and obviously in comparison to that it is having low weight and volume. Uh, so uh, quick startup and low weight and volume are the two main, dis main advantages. Disadvantages uh, you may consider only one like it is extremely sensitive to CO poisoning while in PAFC it was like 1.5 tolerable limit was there. It also uses platinum as a catalyst uh, which is a problem. And obviously hydrogen storage is the uh, significant obstruction and that is in all type of cell and that is why if you have seen a uh, fuel cell is not commercialized yet because the main problem is the storage of hydrogen how much hydrogen you are going to store because the moment you supply a hydrogen then only this reaction will take place so if you don't supply hydrogen how will the reaction take place so how much hydrogen you are going to store in your vehicle that is the biggest problem now if you go in applications it obviously would be comparatively smaller because since the, it is a smaller in size uh, you can use it in small buildings and small vehicles basically what i want to say is you can differentiate i think with the uh, help of this uh, slide uh, pafc and pmfc if you go by full form it is phosphoric acid fuel cell and here it is proton exchange membrane fuel cell the reaction remains same for both of them and obviously the electrolyte changes so you can write the electrolyte name here 
operational temperature range are different for both uh, as you can see pmfc is having a slightly lesser uh, temperature range it is like 60 to 110 uh, you may say while here it is 150 to 250 so uh, catalyst both they use catalyst which is platinum which is costly and it is disadvantage for both output uh, you can see here and efficiency obviously it's better when in terms of uh, single generation coming to the next one which is uh, advantages of uh, PAFC and PEMFC so if you can see here uh, PAFC can tolerate impure hydrogen up to some extent uh, while here it is not possible uh, while if you go in disadvantages uh, it is quite large heavy and expensive while this is uh, comparatively small uh, lightweight and cheap and if you go by the applications uh, the applications are also uh, like that where it is uh, heavy uh, vehicle in the case of uh, PAFC and while it is comparatively lighter in case of PEMFC. So I think with that slide you are able to understand what is fuel cell and what are the different types of fuel cell uh, PAFC and PEMFC. Uh, next I would be coming up uh, with the video on green chemistry and advanced polymeric material. Till then keep liking the video and do encourage and do acknowledge my efforts. Thank you so much.